Hey everybody, it's Adrienne with theflagandbanner.com. Today we're gonna to be going over attaching a black morning bow to your residential pole. But before we get started, just make sure you scroll over and subscribe to our channel for theflagandbanner.com so you can stay up to date with all of our new videos. So to get started, first you have to have, of course, your residential pole, preferably out of the mounting to save yourself any injury. It has a three by five pole hemmed banner style flag on it. Second, you'll need your black morning ribbon to tie the bow. We also have streamers. You can be sure to click over and check out our morning streamer tutorial as well, which you can just find right here. So as you can see, the bow comes as just one strip of black fabric. It is hemmed all the way around, so you don't have to worry about it unraveling or tearing up. Always make sure that your flag doesn't touch the ground. So we're just gonna lay the flag on the table that I have here, and I'm gonna prop up the pole on the floor. This is super simple. It's just tying a bow like you would, uh, like you would tie your shoestring, if you will. Okay, once you have the bow tied, all you'll have to do is go through and just fluff it up a little bit. If any of the material is folded over or creased, you can just go in, straighten that out. Have the two ribbon ends hanging down. And it's as simple as that. Instead of having a streamer hanging down the length of your flag, you have a nice little bow just to top off the pole to signify that you are respectful in the morning of those who have lost their lives. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our page, leave us any comments that you might have. We love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day. If you found this video informative, please click the like button down below. To stay up to date with all of our upcoming videos, subscribe by clicking the circle icon in the middle of your screen. And as always, thank you for watching.